Hello, welcome to the gospel. On this channel, you are going to get soul lifting message, faith content, and video that will help you to grow your spiritual life. Remember, don't forget to subscribe this channel for more new video updates. You are called. You know, the calling doesn't mature you. You see? So, as we grow, we learn that the grace is increased. And then we can accomplish those things that he has called us to do. Hallelujah. As I was telling you yesterday, that intercession is important. Prayer is important. Prayer. Don't be too tired to pray. Okay? Don't think that prayer is for those who don't know what to do. No. Prayer is important. In the place of prayer, you receive impartations from the Holy Spirit. You receive ministrations from the Holy Spirit. You receive visions from the Holy Spirit. You receive guidance from the Holy Spirit. Prayer is important. Without that kind of prayer, I'll be like a blind man. And because I don't want to be a blind man, I spend time to pray. Because when I close my eyes to pray to God, I see. Prayer is too important. And sometimes, remember, you don't even know what to say in prayer. It is not important that you know what to say when you pray. Why? After all, when you pray in the spirit, when you pray in tongues, you don't know what you're saying, do you? No. It's a fellowship. It's a fellowship. You're getting more and more acquainted with him. There you'll be amazed at how the Holy Spirit teaches you. The Holy Spirit is the greatest teacher. He will teach you things you never thought you would ever discover. Things that will take people years to find out. He can teach you in a few moments. So well, I share with you my, my personal experience of the Holy Spirit. That's what I'm sharing with you. It is my personal experience of the Holy Spirit. What he did in my life. So he's not someone that I just read of. He's someone I've come to know. You're following this? Hallelujah. So, I said, if you want to produce children, spiritual children, it is very different from combats. Galatians chapter 4. Because I read to you yesterday from the Old Testament. But I want to show it to you as well in the New Testament so you see because you saw, as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. That's what you saw. Okay. Galatians chapter 4, verse 19. Let's see what the great apostle Paul tells us here. He says, my little children, of whom I travail in birth again, until Christ be found in you. Again. Of whom I travel in birth again, which means he traveled before. That's what brought them forth. So when Paul traveled, he brought forth children in Galatia. But now that some others were causing them to, to fall out of the way and become fleshly minded, he goes back to what? Traveling again. 
that Christ may be formed in them. Which means that when members of the church are not doing well and moving backward and getting carnal, we don't criticize them, we don't get mad at them, we go back to prayer. We travel in birds again until Christ be formed in them. See how important that is? So I told you, Christian ministry is not, uh, there are no shortcuts. There are no shortcuts. Most days I pray with tears. I can't even hold them back. Most days, almost every day. You say, why? Because of what I see in the word and in what I see outside. You know, the words of Jesus come to my heart where he said that they may know you, the only true God. And Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. That was the desire of Jesus Christ. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. God bless you.